Hello and welcome to a special Halloween edition of Filmmakers Forum. I'm your host, Rachel Nima. Joining us today to discuss his short film, All Hallows Eve, is writer-director Robert Price. Thank you for coming on to the show today, Robert. Thank you for having me, Rachel. So, you know, I was wondering, with all these different Halloween-themed movies out there, what inspired yours? Well, you know, I knew from the beginning, Rachel, that I wanted mine to be a children's film. I wanted this to be something that families could enjoy together. And uh, I remember when I was about eight years old, I bought what I thought at the time was the scariest Grim Reaper mask that I had ever seen. It actually looked uh, a lot like this one. Huh. Um, and uh, I thought in my eight-year-old mind that I was going to scare the heck out of everyone in my neighborhood. And uh, much to my dismay, uh, nobody found me to be scary at all. And so uh, I actually was very disappointed by that. And I remember, I remember that to this day, uh, being just so disappointed. And so I thought, you know, um, with this film, I wanted to sort of, you know, play on, play on that uh, idea, but with a twist. So um, instead of, uh, you know, the little boy going home disappointed, mm -hmm. I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if he can't scare the adults that he comes across, but wouldn't it be great if he came across a ghost? which in my mind is sort of the embodiment of death. And if he could scare a ghost off, then not only has he succe uh, succeeded in scaring someone, but he's scared the one thing that scares us all, which is death itself. What kind of obstacles did you have to overcome? Well, one of the obstacles that we had from the onset was I knew I wanted this movie to look like it took place in the Midwest, that perfect classic American neighborhood that, uh, that we all remember from the movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are very few neighborhoods here in Arizona that look like mm -hmm. that. And so finding locations that just really captured that Midwest uh, look was, was tough initially, but we found some great, uh, some great places. And then the other uh, issue that we had was finding the right little boy to play, uh, to play Tommy. And uh, fortunately, I was able to find a young man named Benjamin Jocks, and uh, he did uh, a fantastic job. He was just, uh, he was great. Coming right up after the break, we'll be taking a look at All Hallows Eve. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Filmmakers Forum. We're here with filmmaker Robert Price. Let's take a look at All Hallows Eve. Let's take a look at it. Thank you. 
there were a lot of interesting special effects you had in there. How did you deal with that challenge? Well, the biggest challenge that we had was uh, the ghost effect at the end. I knew mm -hmm. from the beginning that I wanted to have a green screen effect in this film, and I had never done a green screen effect uh, previously, so I sort of had to just wing it. I mean, we shot the actor against the green screen. Um, I sent it off to L.A. to have it uh, telecined, and when I got the footage back, I really just had to teach myself how to use After Effects. So I watched a few tutorials and uh, I think the uh, the end result uh, works out great because if it hadn't, I wouldn't have had an ending to my film. So it was a risk, but uh, it paid off in the end. So I'm really glad I did it. Oh no, definitely. Well, what advice would you give to aspiring student filmmakers? Well, my biggest advice would be, you know, first off to have a great story. I mean, you know, every great film starts with a great story. Um, other than that, uh, I would say, you know, just, uh, work hard and uh, follow through. I know that pre-production is really where this movie was made. I'm a big believer in uh, pre-production. So make sure that you produce it well. And uh, that way, when it comes time to shoot, you really just have to go out and, uh, and get your shots. You've already got the entire story completed in your head, and it's just a matter of capturing it at this point. And uh, you know, we were really fortunate with, uh, with All Hallows' Eve. It, uh, it went on to uh, win uh, two awards at the uh, SEC Film Festival. And so uh, I, was very, I was very happy with it. You know what, it's been a huge pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time here on Filmmakers Forum.